Welcome to Simple Review. If you find this review to be helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now in this review, I'm covering the co-op experience of a sci-fi roguelike called Shoulders of Giants, which offers 4-player online co-op with cross-play support. When playing this game, you will have one game mode to play, and that is the story roguelike mode. Story-wise, the galaxy is being corrupted, and your goal is to restore it. To restore the galaxy, you will be tasked to complete several missions until you fill the heat meter seen on top of the screen. Upon doing so, you will further the game's story. Only the host player will make story progress when playing with other players. All other types of progress will be saved for the additional players. A server browser is available, so players can easily match together if needed. When it comes to gameplay, players will take control of a robot with a frog on top. The robot can be customized with a melee weapon and a core. Cores provide a new visual look for your robot and offer their own passive and attack abilities. The frog will only be able to change their weapon, but will have access to abilities depending on the robot core. By default, you will play in third person and will have control of the robot. When aiming down the sights, you will control the frog. You have the option to split controls of the robot slash frog between two players, meaning one player can control the robot and the other player can control the frog while still being stuck together. Players will start in the hub world where they can customize their robot slash frog, grab quests, and missions. Quests will only be available to the host player. Upon choosing a mission, all players will be dropped into a planet and will have one of three objectives. Defeat all towers, escape the planet, or destroy certain enemies. You complete these objectives until you defeat the boss of the mission. Once you complete the mission, you will be rewarded with new permanent weapons and cores along with XP and heat progress. XP can then be used to apply permanent stat upgrades to your character. If you fail a mission, you will lose heat progress on your meter, but retain XP obtained before dying, making it so you always make progress in a run. In order to fail a mission, all players will need to die. If playing co-op, dead teammates will be revived after moving on to the next objective and the next zone. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say I found this game to be great. From a co-op perspective, they are definitely trying something ambitious, having two players share one character. This is a fun concept, but can be hard to control. In addition to this, having the host player be the only one that can take on quests and make story progress makes playing co-op feel a little underwhelming. Besides these two things, the co-op experience and the game itself are a lot of fun. Missions are short enough for quick play sessions. Abilities encourage cooperation. Receiving permanent upgrades after completing a run feels good in a roguelike. Always being rewarded with XP if you fail or complete a mission makes it so you always make some form of progress when you play. Missions can get repetitive, but for the price of the game, you are getting a good amount of content, with more on the way according to the roadmap. So with all that being said, I'd have to give the co-op experience 7.5 pepperonis out of 10, and the game itself 8.5 pepperonis out of 10. Shoulders of Giants is an excellent co-op game that will really shine with user feedback. If you are a fan of the roguelike genre, definitely look into this one. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.